it's a problem anymore. And uh, yeah, Fanatics do note that there is a two minute delay, so all fixes and everything will come in um, during that time. All right, five seconds out. Hey, yo, we're gonna just weaken him a little bit. And getting more fly stacks here. Oh no, Ajit. He's in a lot of trouble. He's gonna pop that heel, but he is stuck under flame. Yeah, the staple comes in. The pounce goes out onto fire, though. He gets that last right click out, and he does get the kill of the tower. Doesn't let aid to this gank. And in the end, they do not get no mana to actually get the gank on Jimmy. He does have a torrent now. Is he gonna fake it? Yes, he will land it perfectly. Diva gets caught by that. And with the illusion rune, he should actually go down, but unless the wolves shuts him down, but no. Nova gets solo kill there on that pull to the support, and that's gonna be very good for him. Meanwhile, Mushi. Is still trying to struggle to get that bottle. We'll see if he does it. We'll manage to get it. Nova now gonna around here with five magic stick charges. Gonna enjoy that one, but uh, those benefits come with a cost as he is actually getting out last hit here by Ohio on the Red Rider now. And uh, once again, proving that Warlock is not a good hero to actually slain support with. This Bat Rider is just literally walking all of him. Uh, but the power shot will have to come out here. Yeah, and you're getting hit by a lot of damage, but Nana taking copious amounts of fire damage. Apu is going to melt once again. This Bat Rider just really clowning across this lane. And Nana, he's, uh, he's gonna try it. He's got a cool bat, this guy. Infused Queen of the Jack Bomber. Is that the new one? I'm not sure. But it's a cool bat, and for a guy that plays Bat Rider, that's gonna be pretty much enjoyable. But uh, Nana, boots list for now. He's gonna wait for it, but we have a well, exchange of kills in the top lane. Kangaroo might not be able to outspeed the person. Nope, he will. And, yeah, I'll probably see that. Maybe he goes for face boots, you never know, but uh, AO now, bottom lane, gonna get caught there by the captain. He's gonna latch on, on by the frog. And Nana is gonna get himself a freebie over there, but Warlock actually the pounds is not gonna be available for this point in time. Nova, meanwhile, might just challenge this bad rider to a duel, but gets bounced back. Ticks the bounty rune, but he might actually pay with his life here. There is no Firefly though, so there is a lasso, and this might actually cancel it for him. He's only got one level in Napalm, so I don't see how this is gonna be a kill here. So Ohio is actually gonna distract me long enough for Disruptor to score a kill on that but, uh, Raven. Comes up in Morbid Mask, so I'm just threaten the potential of a solo Roshan there. Now, RJ, ah, yeah. Taking a nap in the middle of the fight, it's a huge purifying hit there. The Omniscience getting out. He's one, but Nick Assassin, meanwhile, gets a strike hard here, as he will actually get the P Man stun there. Kangaroo is gonna X back, uh, gonna get X back by his buddy. The purification comes out, Bushy in a lot of trouble. The slot going to the infinite ultimate with the mid laner. Rock the ball here, Nana shields him in the side. He takes the fall, Raven coming in with those big hits. He will take out Nova, will he find another? Looking for the cockroach, but Slark, very low. We are Warriors hand contest is right now. Warlock sitting at a very unfortunate 5. And uh, he's at level 6. Meanwhile, Mushi is going to be chasing him with the cockroach. And the Ursa uh, Warrior gets that Roshan. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And now Kangaroo actually compromised his positioning here. He's getting good back as well. Immediate silence here from Jimmy. And Kangaroo he does go for the spike therapy, but it's only level 1, so it's a little bit too late. As Ohio with that flame bat takes him out. Oh, now going in there. Nana, very, very ballsy here. Going in for the push. And now Afu going to be caught off guard as the Napalm stacks lane. And he's going to feel pretty safe for himself. Here comes Mushi running in there. He armors up his Raven. And now. There we go, the other warrior is angry, he's fierce, he wants some of this, but some of the come in here from uh, Warriors Gaming, will they be able to turn it around? The Warriors, they are actually trying to back, Ohio is pretty low here, but they are getting exploited there by Napalm and Raven, and it strikes down the next Assassin and the Sleep as well, Nana in a lot of trouble, he is still taking a nap in the middle of the fight, taking a lot of damage here, Nana immediately pops that Shadow Dance, goes into the fight there, pounces on the Raven, but really, can he get that kill though? He does have the Aegis, so it is very... Scary to actually try and push for this kill, but they don't really have anything to support this Ursa, so he might actually go down a second time. Here comes the Orb to do massive damage here, and now, yeah, the Ursa is going in, trying to get that last strike on the Nova, but in the end, uh, struck down. But he can actually deploy that. The Ursa has already enabled his overpower, he's gonna go for it. This Wars come deployed, the Ohio comes in, last of them from the side, they weren't expecting that, but the immediate vanish here from Argent is gonna save the slot for most damage here. He immediately goes into that dark tank, post. Disruption and now the human great caught out here. The fires are still really hot here from the slot. Let's be real careful, but the wall of golden comes in with the combo. Knocks out the bat rider and AO is pulled back by the X Mark Star. Fanatic lose three and Raven running away with his life. Oh, is he? Oh, blinks away in the nick of time before that OD traps him in that prison once again. Banana being able to escape that hell because of Arjit. And once again, proving you know, maybe Echo Saber. It's gonna be hard. Mushi, meanwhile, he does have that repel. 
He might be able to get out of there in time. Does he get the repel? No, Mushi! Oh, spare! As the Nyx Assassin misses on his crucial stun, so Mushi will actually bail out of there in time. He even has a haste spoon for secondary emergency maneuvers. And meanwhile, this Warlock's uh, game has pretty much been this way. Just getting chased down with no escape mechanism. There's always choices of um, cosmetics, but you know. <sighs> Hopefully a kangaroo gonna get pulled there. There is gonna be a pair fire. Yep, comes in there. Raven is the last hit. The man marker man is coming in. They see something. Kunkka. The silence is in as well. There will be no bailout here from the Kunkka. And they get two quick kills. That's the kind of discipline gank that Fnatic needs to pull off if they are looking to secure that. Well, secure that map advantage because the Mask Commanders goes out. The Ursa Warrior is ready. He's just letting the MOM just really go down a little bit here. But Ohio, the initiator there, getting caught. But the, sp the stop comes out immediately. The shopping combo and Kangaroo is immediately pulled in there. But the Wall of Gold stops things in its track. But oh, big silences and the track. Bigger even. Elder Titan ends the dominating streak of the slot. Kangaroo getting pulled back and so is Nova. Running away for his dear life. Hoping people ignore him. But the bear, he is had enough of this bloody captain. He's in all the way. And he strikes him down. Raven with the dominating spree. And that's three big kills going away of Fnatic because of how uh, how aggressive he has been. Maybe you know, can fake off some illusions by Arjun coming in. Repel going out. And there we go. Going on the first hit bash. And the purification. Is it going to be enough? No, it will not. But they are already looking for other power gets here. The OD is probably not going to get out of that one. He does not. Nova going to pull back there by the bat. Slowed down by that napalm. The hammer comes in from Omni Knight. Slowing the Kunkka down as well. Raven. You want to go for more. Control mitigation here. If you're in a slot, get more HP. Nana gonna get scouted out here. He is, uh, yeah, he's gonna get scouted out. And now he's in a lot of trouble as he walks into that statue. Watch the silence comes out. Jimmy is gonna clip him right back in there. But, uh, no, 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 no. Oh, the, the bounce back. Slot trying to run for his life. But I don't think he's uh, gonna end up. Nope, Nana he is in a lot of trouble as he just gets walked down here by Ohio. Ohio with the gem. Not fear Gurns and go up the high ground and push for what? But oh wow, Warriors wanting to take this fight. I think it might be a little late. They have the rock, but it's a it's a very dangerous endeavor here. As well as Kangaroo might want to have more caution in regards to this. And now oh no, the Warlock gonna get walking right into that Ursa and with the lasso as well. Should be an easy pick off here. The big team might also be on the sideline for 30 seconds. And What's the name of that item called? Eight lens. Being picked up. Fail. But now it's not gonna be a case. Oh, the wall gets caught once again from the eclipse. And this is what I was talking about. The punish coming out here from those big ultimates. And Jimmy not taking chances there. Going to deploy a static soul for the Warlock. He's got 30 seconds on the sidelines. Once again, it puts in their position to buy back or not buy back. Meanwhile, Pat Rider kills off the Nyx Assassin top. It's on it. They still have their tier 3 tower to soak up damage. Kunka starts with the boat. I'll run a spot to the Torrent. Gonna find that Pat Rider. And still giving them a white buff as he does have a Desolator. Oh man. Nana runs forward with that Shadow Blade, guys. And oh, they're still going in there. Raven looking for the space. Go to the last of stock on the OD, and that is the Vanisher. And without that Vanisher, he is not building anyone out of there. Ohio, he was deploying that DKB to prevent any kind of shenanigans from happening. But nice, nice, nice for that. The first follows out Raven. Take a huge chunk of that. He is the Aegis for revival. But Mushi pumps that Guarded Angel a tad late there. The big ultimate comes out from Arjun and takes him out. The Blink Dagger on Raven. He gets banished. This could be really bad business yet. Torrent does land on him immediately. The chain stun follows and Raven is just getting piled on. And they don't even get the slot. They don't even get the Raxus Fnatic. Crumbling in this push here and giving away a godlike. We have four staffs that could work as well. Just to save Jimmy. Or another glimmer. Oh, meanwhile, Jimmy is gonna get repelled up. He's gonna trap in that OD and then immediately go in there for that silence. But is it gonna be enough there as he's trying to lose his life? Mushi gonna get caught as he has repelled his friend, so he doesn't actually have the repel for himself. The spikes come in immediately, same thing, Ohio. But Ursa Warrior, unbanished, finds the next assassin in front of him. And like a deer, the headlights, sir. Uh... Anna. Really have to play careful here. The Bat Rider does have lasso. And now that Jesus uses his spell, the Bat Rider comes in. It is night time as well, so he will not actually have the ability to get out of their life. The crack comes out just for show, but you do get the slop. He has bought back. OG is bought back. If he dies again, this could be very well over. Arjun, he is gonna fall, and yes, he doesn't have five back for another four minutes there. Fnatic Raven is on a dominating streak there with a double kill. And Fnatic Mushi now going for a Yasha. Okay, and they're going in. Tumbling this Nailing Rex, very slow push from this team. That's why the Desolator was picked up, I think. But Kangaroo as well as the Warlock are gonna be hanging around the back. 
Waiting for those ultimates to charge up. It's only level one golem. Probably needs to read some books. Probably need to read some books. Once again, the torrent slowing things down, but Fnatic and none of that. And to continue chipping away this tower with <laughs> Deso Ursa. Maybe on that MOM? I don't know. But no, he uses the overpower. Just start climbing away at the tower. And now uh, the tower down there. Slavi is about to revive. But no, Kangaroo goes in there with the spike with the nukes. And the goal comes down as well. Apu wants the kid dying to this Ursa warrior. He's getting really triggered by him at this point. And the buybacks come out. Warlock immediately torrented. Mushi to catch Nana in play. But now Mushi now in a lot of trouble as he is. Out of mana and out of health. Frag comes in, the big stun, and Raven with the triple kill just kicks names four kills in a row and knocks them down like bowling pins. And we have Afu calling that good game after getting killed, but up to the time by that Ursa Warrior. 10 deaths on this support Warlock. I think Warrior Jamie needs to really rethink that hero. The track record on that is not stellar, it's not outstanding. And uh, Fnatic will get themselves a easy 1-0 close and we'll see if that is going to be a quick quick 2-0 or maybe a long, out, long drawn out 2-0 or maybe even a game 3 if Warriors do manage to get another draft that surprises Fnatic. But honestly speaking, I honestly thought they had a better draft.